Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, episode of the Slender Tutorial. Apologies that there was no uh, video yesterday. Not that anybody watches it, but I was busy playing chivalry. Also, I really like this area. This just giant open area with no trees. It's kind of sexy. Uh, <laughs> so what we're doing today is we're making an enemy. Um, so we need to find third person blueprints. I have a fat hand. And we want to duplicate this. Or copy it. Whatever copy is. Okay, we're just going to control C it. See if this works. Make a new folder and call it enemy. And paste it in. Oh, nice. It worked. Inside here, what we want to do is get rid of... Probably... Yeah, we want to get rid of everything. The only thing, and we also want to get rid of the camera up here, because the only thing that we need is the mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to get an event tick. And I think it's AI follow, uh, what is it? AI move to. And what we're going to do is cast to... Third person BP. Or is it just third person character? We actually have to. Yeah, just third person character. Uh, let's rename this to enemy also, just to make sure that we didn't cast itself. Which I don't believe we did. And we're going to want to get player character. Pile, see if it still works. Yes. Oh, so something I just realized is we need to get a navig- Yeah, uh, no, where is it? We need to go to volumes and find- I think- I believe it's nav mesh bounds here. Uh, without this, the AI- doesn't actually know where to go so just you want just want this to be stretched out on the entire map oh well there's my mouse pad or at least wherever he's gonna walk he's not really gonna walk up on these rocks so you don't need to put them there i'm just doing that and the way that you test to see if everything works is you press p Anything that's green is where you can walk on. So yeah, see I have him all up the mountains. He's not going to be up here. But this actually allows the, him to walk up there. Now, I am very curious as to... Oh, he disappeared probably from when we... Oh... Uh, Oh, oh my god, alright. Um, there's probably going to be some weird cuts and edits. I'll just put in text, filling in on anything. Oh, there's no collision on the tree. So, I'm going to have to put in some text, filling in anything that might have been left out. But, there we go. We do have the AI guy who follows us now. Uh, I was going through some issues. Because I forgot the navigational radius. But hope, hopefully hopefully everyone who watched this will still be able to uh, get an idea of how to do it. Because it is working now. So yeah, I'll just clear up anything I can if anything's missed out. Uh, as for the collision of the trees, I showed you everyone how to do that in a previous video, hopefully. I can't get it because my computer just dies. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, anyways, um, thank you all for watching. Apologies for the inconvenience. In the next episode, I will show you how to give this guy... Where is he? A custom mesh and walk animation. 
Alright, with that being said, thank you all for watching and goodbye.